Hummingbirds love these blooms, but this climbing vine is a beast. If you're thinking about a plant for your new trellis or a pergola, and God forbid a trellis on the side of your house, um, this is a little bit of a cautionary tale. I say a little bit because this is a native vine, Campsus. It is a also called the trumpet vine. You can see because of the shape of the flowers there. See that? Those beautiful orange flowers start blooming in uh, late July into August and continue right on through into September. Uh, hummingbirds love them. This vine, along with other native plants, supports a plethora of pollinators and wildlife. These are the seed pods of the trumpet vine, and uh, they're very indicative of the family, which is the uh, Bignoniaceae family. Uh, you might recognize this from the cigar tree that's uh, often found in large settings. Uh, it's a Native American tree further south, Bignonia. So. Um, these pods are full of seeds. It is not a member of the pea family, so don't be eating these things, but these will dry out and then dehiss or open up and spread their seeds. Campsus, or the trumpet vine, is easily propagated from seed or from cutting. You can find it in, uh, at certain nurseries, and you might uh, be thinking about planting it far away from your house if there's an old barn that's starting to fall down and you want to just cover it, this would be a good plant to do that very task. But you don't want to be putting this plant on a small trellis or pergola that won't handle the weight or too near the house. The reason I say that, this thing is very vigorous. As an example, this plant was planted about 10 years ago uh, from a, one of those uh, you know, a rooted cutting, basically, or a, a sprout in that was growing from a, another mother plant uh, with a few roots on it, and it was a small little thing 10 years ago, and this is the growth that you get. The first year, you'll have a nice leafy vine that grows about 12 to 15 feet tall, and then in subsequent years, you will find it is invading every nook and cranny. Uh, if it's too near your house, for instance, if it will go under the siding. This trunk right here is the trumpet vine stem. This thing will get even bigger over time. It will, uh, like I mentioned, grow between the timbers on your, um, on your trellis or your pergola. It will pull beams apart. It is a very vigorous grower, and over time it will take over uh, and, and uh, could be doing some structural damage as it does. There's also a grapevine growing here, um, which can be also pretty vigor vigorous as well, but nothing like the trumpet vine. I would have reservations about planting this plant uh, too close to my house, but um, it is possible to uh, to propagate it you, by just pulling up a runner of an existing plant that has some roots on it and you can just stick it in the ground and it will grow. It likes a sunny location. It will flower more freely, freely if it has sun to grow to, um, but it will survive in pretty good shade as well. Um, Well-drained soil, doesn't matter if it's acid or alkali, um, it, and it doesn't have many requirements in terms of fertilizing or any of that. You don't have to worry about this plant surviving. It's good on its own. Where this plant would be useful, um, it has been planted on a pergola here outside of the house. The pergola is separate from the house, and what is really good about the uh, trumpet vine is that it provides wonderful shade in the summertime. And these leaves, which are compound leaves, drop in the fall as it's a deciduous plant. And therefore, there is some sun under this during the winter time. So it, this is actually a pretty good use of uh, this plant in this setting. For alternatives, 
There are a number of alternatives. Uh, if you want to have uh, something on a pergola or on a, uh, on a trellis, you might try one of the following. There are a number of wonderful clematis species that will do very well in those in on, on that setting. Um, some people have grown um, grapes as well. The good thing about the trumpet vine, though, is that it makes fruit, but it's easy to clean up. Grapes, when they when the grapes drop, it's you know you're cleaning the um, the pavement or the the flagstone beneath it. Um, there are pros and cons to a lot of this. What I like about the trumpet vine besides the fact that it's deciduous and it doesn't drop a lot of, uh, of fruit, is that it is a native plant. And again, hummingbirds love this. If you like hummingbirds, you want to see them around your place naturally, then this is a great vine to plant. Trumpet vine, we're not going to say don't plant it, but proceed at your own risk and with great caution. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe and like and share.